Hello everyone, this is Trekkie1701C, and let's go ahead and continue the playthrough of FS Court. In this mission, we will be assaulting a secondary supply and rearming. All right, so it looks like we're going to control. be flying we'll to another debris field. In the uh, system, because apparently that's what happens to the Hammer of Light when we go to destroy them, is they the get blown up early. Sentry guns. Uh, of the student fighters. Actually, it does actually make sense. The last mission we saw, where there really weren't a lot of Shivan fighters, because uh, Hammer of Light believes that the Shivans are basically gods that have been sent to destroy them, and that they should help them destroy everything. And if the Shivans decide that they need to die, then they won't fight back. All the transports and freighters must be destroyed before they reach the subspace node. All right, so we've got to make sure that all the freighters will, will come in to recover remaining be destroyed, cargo. and then we'll come in and steal the cargo from them. Not sure what they could have that would be worthwhile, but see, it looks like I may, probably will go ahead and stay with the Valkyrie for right now, because uh, that last mission didn't go too well. And let's just go ahead and see what I've got. Let's see. Was there something about disabling anything? That's weird that he, uh, sent me... And personally, I'd rather have the, uh... I'll leave those for the computer ships, I guess. I'll just keep the interceptors for myself, and... So you never know. Oh, and this actually is the appearance of, I mentioned this in an earlier playthrough, the Sadist class freighter. It will not be much of an issue right now. I mean, it could still be a little bit of an issue because, uh, you know, it does have a significant amount of firepower. You notice it firing back there and it's pretty maneuverable as well uh, for a freighter. But, uh... Okay, uh, looks like they are actually putting up a little bit more of a fight here. Let's go ahead and try and take this guy out. Okay, he's going down. Let's get out of here. Okay, he's launched missiles. Let's evade those. You even see the missile go by me right there. See if those will kill him. Nope. He managed to evade the missiles. Said the missiles are very hard to evade, but not impossible, because uh, that would be broken. So I don't know what it is, but it seems like my missiles actually aren't tracking him. And I fire them and they don't even turn. And I'm not seeing him launch any countermeasures. Maybe I'm just uh, too close to him for them to be able to turn effectively. Right. Now that he's gone, I'm going to target the next freighter here and take him out. Well, it actually looks like a transport. And the, oh, shoot! Way too close there. I didn't even realize how small this guy was. Well, he's disabled. He is just getting thrown around by all this weapons fire, which is also another nice little feature of the engine, is uh, you can actually take damage. Uh, well, not damage, but you do actually get knocked back from being hit by weapons. And you can see where he's kind of getting spun around by my weapons fire. Uh, you won't really see it with larger ships. This is... Freighters are about the largest you can see this on, which is probably a little bit broken because they should actually have some heft to them, a little bit of weight and all that, but uh, I'm not going to complain about a little bit of a light show, especially when it makes it harder for their guns to properly aim at me. Looks like uh, all the freighters are gone. So let's go ahead and stop so that the support ship can dock with me really quick, because I have a feeling I'm going to need the weapons, and actually I didn't even have my uh, cannons dual selected. Rearming complete, sir. Uh, I don't think the mission's going to actually proceed to where we recover cargo until we take everything out, and 
and I've gotten a long way from everything else, so I need to actually get in there. That or jumped in pretty close. Well, pretty far from everything. I'm thinking it's we jumped out pretty far from this sentry gun because, uh... It's way, way out there, and I don't remember using this much afterburner. It's actually, uh, switched the engines to full power so that the burner recharges faster. Keep the area secure until our freighters have arrived. Alright. Let's take out these fighters. That looks like a... yeah, that's a freighter. Let's take him out. He just rammed straight into an asteroid, it looks like. That looks like our transports are jumping in. Take out these spiders. It looks like they're tracking now, and he's gone. So these dudes actually pack a little bit of a punch if they actually hit what you're shooting at. Roger, sir. Go right. ahead and call in support again because I'm starting to run low on missiles. Just do it a little bit preemptively so I get in the queue. He's definitely got a little bit of speed to him. I'm actually going to have to look up what the stance on these ships are because uh, it's a little bit weird how fast they move. I don't recall them ever being able to move quite that quickly. Area is secured. Return to base. Okay, so it looks like we're done. Excellent work. The area has been secured and no Hammer of Light ships escaped. Your persistence in accomplishing your objectives is to be commended. That's a really short debriefing. Well, anyways, until next time, this is Trekkie1701C. Please remember to subscribe and comment.